Hello everyone. Welcome back to Spoken English Video Lessons by Arrow Publications. I'm your Spoken English Trainer Padmini and in today's video lesson, I shall be telling you all about the use of have had, has had and had had. Well, you might wonder if these are indeed correct and can be used in our daily communication. Well, if you learn them properly, you will definitely be able to use these correctly. So let's get started. We'll first begin with the uses of have has, have had and has had. Have had and has had. Have had and has had have got two uses. The first use is where you say that you owned or possessed something from the past until now. Let me explain it clearly. If you have had something for a long time, say you bought something three years ago, you bought a phone or you bought a bike or you bought a dress or you bought a watch, maybe three years ago or two years ago and you're still using it and it's still with you and you, are, it, you still possess that particular thing, then you can use have had and has had. For example, I have had the same car for five years. So what does this mean? It means that you bought the car or I bought the car five years ago and I still continue to have the same car. I have had the same car for five years. He has had the same bike since 2020. That means he bought the bike in 2020. He continues to have it with him. So it's a possession that you have from the past till the present. And now coming to the next example. She has had the same mobile phone for two years. So she bought a mobile phone two years ago and she still continues to use it. We have had a pet dog for three years. So we got home a pet dog three years ago and we still continue to have the pet dog at home. And the next one is, I have had many friends since childhood. I have had many friends since childhood means in my childhood I had, I had many friends. I continue to have many friends and even today I have many friends. So I have had many friends since my childhood. He has had many health problems since birth. So he has had many health problems since birth would mean that he had problems at birth. He continued to have problems after that and even now he has a few health issues. So the same thing continues from the past to the present. The same condition, the same position continues from the past till the present. Now the next example. She has had short hair since childhood. That means in her childhood she had short hair. She continued to have short hair. Even today she has short hair. So she has had short hair since childhood. She has not changed her hairstyle at all. We have had water shortage for three years. So for the last three years we have had this problem of water shortage. So the problem continues for three years. So these are some of the examples. Now the next example. I have had a bad cold since yesterday. That means I started to have cold yesterday and it still continu continues today. That means my condition remains the same even today. The children have had holidays since April. The children have had holidays since April. So it means the holidays started in April and they still continue to have holidays. I hope you understand this. It's very interesting, isn't it? Now let's go to the next use of this have had and has had. You can also use have had and has had to say that you ate. You just had your breakfast or you just had a shower or a bath or you just had a meeting. So how do you actually make sentences? Let's look at some examples. 
I have just had breakfast. If somebody offers you breakfast and you have already finished, so what would you say? You can say, I have just had breakfast. I am full. Or you can say, another example like this, when you have just finished your bath, you can say, he has just had a shower. He has just had a shower means he has just taken a bath. So instead of taken, you are using he has had or have had. I have had a shower. That means I have finished taking a bath. Now the next one is they have just had a meeting. That means they have just conducted a meeting or they have just attended a meeting. So instead of using conducted or attended, we have used have had. And the next one is they have just had a party. They have just had a party, which means that they have just finished a party. They have enjoyed themselves and they just finished their party. So these are some ways of using have had and has had. Now let's come to the next one, which is very interesting. Had had. Sounds a little strange, but it's very, very correct to use had had. So how do we use this had had? Had had can also be used to talk about possession or it can also be used to talk about some actions that we have just done but it is used in slightly different way. All you need to understand is that it talks about a possession that you had before something else. For example, I had had a desktop before I bought a laptop. I had had a desktop before I had a laptop. I had had a desktop means before the first position was desktop. The second position was a laptop. So when you want to say that you possessed or you owned something before something else, we use had had. Another example, she had had a normal phone. You had that. You have that basic phone. She had had a normal phone before she bought a smartphone. She had had a normal phone, the basic phone, before she bought a smartphone. So this is the first position here is the basic phone. The second position is the smartphone. Now another example. We had had a black and white TV before we bought a color TV. So people had had a black and white TV before they bought this color TV or before they started watching color TV. So this is also a possession in the past. We had had a black and white TV before we bought a color TV. Another one, I had had a bike before I bought a car. I had had a bike before I bought a car. So I had a bike first, but later on I bought a Car. So, you can express these things where you are talking about your past position and the present position with had had. Now, let's look at some other examples. We had had problems with the computer, so we bought a new one. So, we had had some problems. We had had some problems with the computer, so we bought a new one. It could not be repaired, so we bought a new one. She had had some health problems before she passed away. She had had some health problems before she passed away. That means she died. When did she die? She died after the health problems. So first she had some health problems. She had had health problems before she passed away. Now you can also use this uh, had had to say that you did something before something else. You did something before you did something else or something happened before something else. For example, I had had breakfast before I left for office. That means first I finished my breakfast, then I went to office. She had had enough rest before she started working. So first she had rest, then she started working. So you can use this even to talk about some activities. I had had a cup of coffee before I started my day. I had had a cup of coffee. That means I first drank. Instead of saying drank, 
You're saying I had had a cup of coffee before I started my day. And the next one, I had had a shower before I took breakfast. I had had a shower before I took breakfast. So all this sounds very interesting. And if you are able to understand and you are able to make your own examples after watching this video, it would be wonderful. You would get used to using this. You would get used to using have, has, have had, has had and had had in sentences very perfectly. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you enjoyed, not only enjoyed, you also learned something useful. Thank you very much for watching. Do like, subscribe and share our videos and we'll come back with many more interesting videos. Goodbye.